here on another episode of How to Go Love with Papa Dada, Top Shotta, you little bounce. So today, Papa Dada is going to teach us how to roll up. Yeah, you know, so I like to roll with paper and grabber. I use raw paper, you feel me? Got my little filter here, got my grabber. Okay. Got my top shelf, you know, shout out Dagman, you little bounce. Okay, alright. And I'm here. That's what it's like to do. That's the real, some, um, what is it called? Shit, I forget. It's like, um, shit, what was the word? Um, that's like the new thing to do. This, like, uh, rolling in paper with grava, I feel. Like, I've always rolled in Dutchess or Backwoods or White Owls or Phillies. But is it like a new thing or you always Nah, all oh my life. I, I smoke paper and drama. That's just me. I'm a yard my career, so you they might like to money. follow trend, but you know what I mean? I'm so you've been doing this? Yeah, forever. All right, Alright, so how do you go about rolling up? Like, what is the first step that you take to roll up? Uh, first thing when you get your paper, and, and you can tell people can't roll by how they manage the paper. You get the paper first, alright? Okay. Alright, this is a different paper, but like this, you pull the paper, right? Well, you gotta crush your paper. If you don't crush your paper, Ooh, you're not even smoke it. Hold on, hold that up, hold that up. Okay, so, as you were saying, you crush it up. Yeah, you gotta crush the paper. That's gonna, it's better texture, burn better, roll better. If you know, you know. You okay. feel me? Can't get your grabber from just anywhere. You see, I got the test tube. The finest of grabbers. I'm not letting y'all know where I get my grabber from. So one thing about Grava and Fonto that's so funny, if you ever buy it from Brooklyn, it's like... Yeah, garbage. And it gets to be 1090 in the flood. You're supposed to put a good amount, you know what I mean? Just a nice little I'm about to taste. roll up with you. I roll up in backwards. Yeah. We know this. Then you're rolling up Grava and adding weed. Grava and adding yeah, weed. That's how it be. So what exactly is Grava? Okay, it's like tobacco leaf. Frontos like a leaf, they grow, you see what I'm saying? You just basically dry it out, crush it in your weed to make it shoot more. Like, old school Jamaican, they roll up on the grubber leaf, you know what I mean? They never like, yeah. like the younger generation, how we burn yeah, it and yeah, put it yeah. in the weed, but that's just how it is. You know what young people do about? Yeah, Hot okay. Sport, my dad thing, yeah. All right, so, oh. So, let's get into this. Why is my camera key? Have a little camera malfunction here, but it's all good. We here. So, by the way, I want to get into this. Shout out to Bando Farms for this official Apro Quartz. Check them out. And I also got Black Ice. I'm rolling up the Black Ice today, guys. So, I'm super excited for that. <laughs> so... As you were saying, um, how you roll up with the graba. So, what's how much graba do you actually put? Yeah, in people blood? be doing too much. I mean, you could pretty much eyeball it, but it's like seasoning. If you can't cook, you shouldn't be rolling this flesh. Like, so it's you, like seasoning. Exactly. You know, it's you like that song. You don't want it too salty. You don't want it undercooked. You know, so you gotta just feel me. Got that right touch. Okay. Well, as you can see. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> Juno. I never was a backwood. So like we were saying, we'll cut that part. Mm -hmm. But um, so yeah, so we're gonna get into this. This is so pretty. It's like purplish. Look. Oh yeah, that's definitely some fires. Super pretty. Okay. So where in Dykeman did you get this? You know, right back in the park, you know, 204. After all types of different Go to school for one of Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Chill. Chill. What? I even know that's all exactly. the, oh, every shift of every person exactly. that we yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, it could be like, that's oh, so remember true. me? Like, you know that one day I was driving? Yeah. And I saw a line. Like, they're getting so bold with it. They're like, yeah, there's a whole line. Yeah. And they were social distance. Yeah, they got the bag. You sit this shit right outside. They just don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm like, so you already rolled up. I haven't no, even rolled up. That fast. my body. I might roll up another one. That's just how I'm Okay. So let's get right into it. So getting back into it, what first got you into music? Um, like I always like 
been in the mall the whole life, always had an ear for music. But like my bros really pushed me to like take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Me and Hype started like rapping around the same time. And he, he I used to always tell him like, bro, you dumb nice. He used to tell me I did the same thing. So I'm like, yo, you go hard, I won't go hard. And it's just been like that ever since. We just made our first like two songs together and then we just started taking over, doing our own thing. So so yeah, we definitely got um, a joint EP coming out um, okay. in July, and then we got our own individual EPs coming out. I shot a music video today, a music video this morning, two videos today, a music video yesterday. Oh, you working um, right Yeah, now. shows, in and out studio time, and we're trying to be making history, we're making movies, we're doing a lot. And like, it's going to pay off. You know, okay. We're doing a lot behind closed doors. That's what speaks for like success, Absolutely. not just what you see on Instagram. Absolutely. Now, what do you, where do you think you would have been if you would have never started music? I mean, I felt like it was always destined, you know, because like I, when I play sports, I grew up playing football, playing basketball, but in my free time, that's what I was always doing. You know, I was always making songs. I was just... So you've manifested never, this. Yeah, going to the booth and recording, you know what I mean? But I always just make songs, keep my songs in my head. And then once they gave me the motivation, like, yo, go to the studio. Once you go the first time, you fall in love. Like, the first time, like, you know, really... Like, I wasn't, like, I didn't like the sound of my voice, you know? Because, like, it sound weird when you have to hear yourself. Like, oh, shit, that's what I sound like. And I'm supposed to be the master of rolling up and I'm over here taking my sweet time. He already got his second joint, guys. You beat me. You beat me. You beat me. All right, so. So my next question is, who would you like to collaborate with right now? Like, who is like your most desired artist that you would like to collaborate with? Quite Black. Okay, yes, I'm here for it. Yes. Definitely for that. I didn't even bring a lighter. I have a lighter, I think. Alright, Kodak Black. I like Kodak Black. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the little thing with the um, Make America Great again <laughs> the other day, I was like, okay, I could get it, I could dig it. Hey. But he is the man, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. So I have something really funny, right? So I actually went to Tier ten years ago, yeah. and I did. It was called something else. Mm -hmm. I went to go visit my mom in Tampa, and I actually talking about certain people. Certain people don't know certain artists. This is book when um, OT um, OT Genesis had first came out with okay. that. I'm in love, love with, with the Coco. Coco. Yeah. So I was on it because I'm from New York. I go to this club. I go to the DJ and I'm going mad hard. I'm like, yo, put this song on. He's like, who's this? Who's this? He put it on. Nobody was dancing. Mm -hmm. Nobody. And I was like, this song been out for like a while. Like, That's how it was like, with the, the Wolf Day. Which am I saying? Yeah. In Florida, they was like. I was like, uh, what? That's how I know, like, your shit could go viral, like, in your state or in your area, like. Word. So let's get into um your music a little bit. Like, what is, like, your main single out right now? Okay, um, Ain't the Same was um, one of my main singles I just dropped. Mm -hmm. Um, I just dropped a single on all platforms called I Don't Know. It was on some, it was on some cool shit, some school shit. My bro sent me, my little brother sent me a beat because one of these TikToks too, you know, dancing. Whoa, all that. So yeah. it was on that type of vibe. You feel me? Um, I definitely got two more singles coming out very soon. Um, I got the joint EP. I said we're hype. I'm gonna come out with an individual EP over before the end of the year. So it's gonna be a good summer, good fall. You know, we're gonna okay, have so a lot of things working, working. For next year. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I love like, that energy. Cause a lot going into an artist is like everything, especially when you're funding yourself. You know, you gotta pay for the beat, pay for your lyrics. You gotta copyright everything. You know. So, and then studio time, and then promotion, and then of course you gotta look the part, so it's like, yeah. It's, it's a lot, like, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. But it's worth it though. Definitely. Or I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. Definitely. So, tell us a little bit about where you're from, like, what, what are you, like, are you from New York? I'm uh, born in Jamaica, but I'm good. Okay, what part of Jamaica? Trelawney, what's up, countryside. Nice. Yeah, I grew up in New York. What part of New York? Uh, uptown in the Bronx. Okay. You know, Bay Chester, Barnes, 216, all that. Yeah. Okay, uptown okay. I'm a Queens girl. I don't know okay, too much okay. about the Bronx. Okay, yeah. We don't go to that part of New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm in the upstate 845 area. 
for like my teenage years, I went to high school and shit out there. Okay. Like, you know, niggas be getting locked up and all that bullshit. So now. Yeah, that's right something now. that we all had to deal with growing up. Yeah. Like especially being a teenager in New York City, like we went through a lot of lucky. stuff. We it's lucky to even to. be here. Mm -hmm. If you didn't go through that, you lucky. Word. For real. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the next question. Mm -hmm. Um. If you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? I feel like. Hold that thought. Yeah, I feel like, again, like before somebody looks at your talent, they look at, <coughs> um, like your Instagram, mm -hmm. followers, likes, and everything, and it's like, social media plays a part in it. But it's not, because there's some people that are naturally gifted that can move a crowd, you know what I mean? That can get people to jack them. So, I feel like I would, I would more, I want to see the artists perform, because that's where the money comes from, from selling out shows, you know what I mean? And playing it in, a, in, in, in an area like listening parties, where people would jack your music, you know what I mean? That's why I like contests where they put 10 artists, but I feel like it shouldn't be one, two songs, they might share like three, five minutes segment, like you know what I mean? Play two, three songs. You know what I mean? More old school to me. Sell your records, you know what I mean? I feel like all the streams and playlists, you can do that from machine. I can go right now on my phone, my laptop, and another phone if I had, and pretty much on replay and go to work with my 9 to 5. Yeah. That's not the same as somebody genuinely. Actually going out like Run that song back, bro. Yeah. Run that song back. Nah. So it's like, I want to bring that effect back. Okay. Yeah, I definitely understand where, where you're coming from with that because I remember like stories like 50 Cent used to go with his CDs and the trunk of his car go right to his hood and sell it right out of the trunk right. of his car. Like I get that. Like now social media, like if you're not it, if you don't have followers and I feel like there's people that are way talented that I know that only have 900 followers. Mm -hmm. And there's people that I know that are verified and it's like, wow. Who verified you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turned off again. For real. Yeah, it'd be funny though. Mm -hmm. I definitely know what you mean. But in the real world, you know, in reality, you know who is talented. And if you yeah. have that drive, you have that drive. You're working. You're working, yeah, working. Like, definitely. I don't can... pay off. Because I, I look at a lot of shit like, so I don't get discouraged. Like, the, everybody that's a legend in this music industry made their hit. I'm like 27 to 30 years old. I'm about to be 25 in July. I mean, Leo, baby. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. And then, like, that song, they say time is. Yeah. It's like five years old, bro. Yeah. You bust off of that. Drake got on it. All that. So that is like, so you true. You never know your time. Don't watch the next man play, bro, because then you're going to miss your opportunity. Yep. So it's like, and that's like, a fact. The same way you will listen to some deep songs, you will listen to. Some, some Drake, but then you'll listen to Meg Thee Stallion, or you'll listen to like old school T-Pain. Like, Word. so just because somebody else's song is fire don't mean your song is not fire. Word, because I listen to Nas all the time. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And that's, that's me, Nas, old school Nas is my thing. You see what I'm saying? Everybody got their thing. Exactly, so it's like, nah, just keep going, be yourself. I, I hate the whole, and like, I mean, I guess it's everywhere, but I notice it more because I'm in New York, like, I hate the one brother trying to sound like the next man, bro. Like, five will be lit, and there's 40 niggas trying to sound like, yeah. trying to sound like Pop Smoke or whoever's lit or coming up or sound good. It's just like, really, there's no more originality. Be yourself. Word. Everybody, like, if you didn't tell me this was somebody else, I would think it's somebody else. Like, yeah. I, I like the difference. When you put on Jay-Z, you know it's Jay-Z. You put on Drake, you know it's Drake. You put on Lil Wayne, you know it's Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Word. So, I, I'm not with the gimmicks. Word. And I've heard a couple of your songs. They're so catchy. I'm like, yeah. I'll be sitting there in the corner like. Soon be on the radio. Soon be on the radio. But um, let's get in the next question. What is one of the messages that you would like to give all your fans? No corny shit. No corny shit. Be yourself. And no Please. bullshit. You can do anything you want. Like. There's people like, people hating on me so much, that's what made me start doing shit. Because you know, as younger, you always want to fit in or appease to a shit. It's that New York lifestyle. Hold on. Yeah. Think. Hell yeah. Okay. So, 
I like this question. This is a very important question because, of course, it's the Hollywood Love Show. Yeah. When did you start smoking weed? 13. Yeah, Me too. I was 13, that's what I was smoking. I used to roll up for my, uh, my step pops. used to roll up mad weed. But I was never having to smoke because, like, easy to sell it by a split. Mm -hmm. Like, most of but that's just how they made their money. So I used to roll weed all day and never been able to smoke. I was 13. I was alone in the crib. He was like, fuck it. I looked at that split. I was in the bathroom staring at myself for like hours. Staring at myself. I woke up in the bed feeling like I was floating. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, I started smoking when I was 13 too. I don't mean go smoke when you're 13. Yeah, don't do that. I, I actually sat in the pharmacy after that for two hours. And the parents <laughs> were looking for me like crazy. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in aisle three looking at lip gloss like <laughs> with my hoodie on. Like. <laughs> I don't know where in my head I thought that was cute. But yeah, don't do that. But, uh-huh. So, what is your creative process? I feel like... It comes to me naturally. Like, the beat almost say the words to me. Once I hear a beat, okay. I just start going. Alright. So you like to like ride the wave? Yeah, like if I, if I, if I was with like, my ideal situation, I'd be like 12 hours, 24 hours in the studio. And I just play beats. Okay. And then you hear it, and I'm again, and it's, you know, fuck it up. Yeah, that definitely takes skill, because I wouldn't be able to make a song. I like listening to music. Like, I write, but I feel like when I write, it's fine when you're wrong, but it's a little, you put too much thought into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, when it just come off the top. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> so, do you like like doing freestyles and stuff like that? Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah? yeah. So, you, 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 can, you, can you do a little freestyle for us? Yeah, if we, if we little catch a little beat, you yeah, want to take a beat? Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 we can do that. that. All right, so, um, what beat you want to do it to? Play a beat. All right. So what we're going to do is, we're going to pick a beat. I'm going to turn off the camera so it can cool down. So you already know, this is your girl Mo with us and I'm good. We got Papa Dada. He's about to spit a nice little freestyle for everybody. Mm -hmm. And it's to the Turn Me Up beat. So, get it. Oh. oh. Okay. Look. Gang, still on the block, stop with the nonsense, most of these niggas they envy me, penny pack on my body, part of my fashion, but I keep the death on my dungarees, whole lot of smoke you can't cheat for me, burn your ass up to a split for three, this not for kids, ain't no Billy B's, fire your ass up with some Kennedys, turn your ass to a split, grab him. Hit his body, now we doing the charge. I load the chopper, cut him up on my bar, but sorry, my mind ain't telling your honors. Good at the gang, niggas ain't fuck with me, but you know I'm still moving comfortably. Cause bitch, I'm the man, that pussy just stand out. How could you dare try to come for me? She sucking my dick, oh so lovely. She bouncing that ass, that shit bubbly. I'm much to my own beat, you cannot clone me. There will never be another me, gang. Never, don't do you, do better. She ain't jacking it, why sweater? Feral gamma for the leather, effing light like a feather. Gang, you ain't my homie. You plotting, you hate, big knocker, you know that I'm keeping on me. Big chopper, you going out like I'm Tony. He biting the cheese, he work for police, so know that we gotta move tight. The Zaza from Cali, the back of the caddy, so know that I never lack. Fuck a, fuck a seat belt, all my niggas be riding on strap. No back and forth combo, smoking some fronto, bro got a shot like Elonzo. Eat my money pronto, turn him to charcoal, so they get hit with the lawnmower. Ayy, with the lawnmower. Fuck it, I change up the combo. Gang. You ain't a shooter, I mask on myself and come do it to you. Smith and Wesson's blind, knocks and rubbers, he took it to trial and got executed. Gang, just caught an assist off the backboard, got caught with no strap trying to backdoor. Stay down till you get what you asked for, stay down till you get what you... I'ma make these niggas remember me, 100 shots with the Glock as a centipede. Weed and Hennessy remedy, cause my demons be stressing me heavily. I'm saucing baby, I cop it, don't care what they're talking baby. Cop it, don't care what they're costing baby. If you talking crazy, gang. Okay. Oh man, I'm just bullshit, man. I'm the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, yo, not for nothing. Everything you say is always so catchy. Like I swear <laughs> to God, I'd be like, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> it be <a> true word. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Word. So basically, wait. I have another question for you. That was hard, mm -hmm. it was hard, but we gotta like, you know what I mean? Give it, yeah, word, we gotta give it a moment to sit. <laughs> Yo, I love, so, oh wait, shit, where's my next? 
So before the show ends, I also want to thank you so much. Oh, I want to thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> We oh, are toasting. No words up to no good, man. This is the best show in America right now. If you don't know, now you know. Tune in. You already know. I definitely got to pull up. Yes. Big hot. Show me how you roll. Just show make sure to subscribe to my YouTube. Definitely. Comment below. Like. I'm going to put the link to all his videos. Yeah. Pop it out. Down below. Pop it out. Pop it out on all platforms. You know what I mean? And, um... <laughs> What's one last thing you want to tell everybody else? Oh, man. We only got one trip in this motherfucker. We don't know what happens after this. We don't know how we got here. Enjoy yourself. Live your life. We got yeah. one. We got one. Turn up. Enjoy this bitch. Word. Word. No We're high. No, well, I'm right now. <laughs> Having a good time, though. Huh? Word. So. No vibe. Okay. No Word. <laughs> Word. You already know what it is. It's your girl, No Woods, up to no good. Dada, gay. Your boy Dada came on the show. Show some love and support. Gotta love you for that. And you already know. Till next time. It's your girl, No Woods, up to no good. Fucking high.